issue will really push them over the finish line. Anna Warnicki reporting. Thank you for that. And back here at home, a lot of our children love to talk about dinosaurs. And if that sounds like your child, well, then they're going to want to event, check out this event that you're about to tell us because it's happening in McAllen. And it sure promises to be a whole lot of fun for the kiddos. Get their hands dirty. The works, you know? <laughs> yes, and I hear that you've got a certain little kid at home that loves dinos. Yes, besides <laughs> me, right? <laughs> I'm the kiddo at home that loves dinos. So I love dinos, yes. Tell me all about it. This is cool, Daisy. You're going to love this, and so is everyone else. It's the Operation Imagination Summer Camp, and it's all going down in none other than the International Museum of Fine Art in the Upper Valley. Now, there'll be exciting themes for different crafts, games, and activities going on, and each one is going to incorporate hands-on learning experience. Now there will be a museum exhibit exploration feature as well as outdoor recess time so they can all, you know, get in some summer sun during the camp and the event even includes afternoon snack time so they can keep up their energy for the entire day. Now each week is going to be designed and designated for various student grade levels and again this entire camp is going to focus on the prehistoric era. After all, according to the American Museum of Natural History, dinosaurs are indeed some of the most intriguing extinct creatures known to man to date. Now the site says that dinosaur fossils have indeed been found on all seven continents and even though they were around about 66 million years ago, there's still so much that we can learn from them. It even outlines that there are actually about 700 known species that we found went, went in extinct rather and each single one of those has a unique ancestor history to it. The land roaming kind and of course those that are believed to have flown. So pretty interesting for the kids for sure. And if you agree like Daisy does, like I do, you can sign them up for all of the fun. Now this particular event feature is called Roaming Dinos and it's all going down today through Friday. Again, all about unearthing dinosaurs and the kids are even going to have an opportunity to experience their very own dig on top of learn about what it takes to be a paleontologist. It's a family friendly occasion again. So. We hope to see many of our RGV families out there just learning together, having a blast from the past into some ancient fun. It's going to be really, really awesome. So, Daisy, you said you're a fan of the dinos. Your beautiful child, Dylan, is mm -hmm. as well. And you know what? Our friend on the other side of the table here seems to like dinos as well. So. I do. <laughs> of course, that little fact that I had earlier with the chickens, the <laughs> uh, descendant of the T-Rex, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's probably a lot of animals that are descendants and you know, we know of some of them, but mm -hmm. like you said, there's just still so much to learn about dinosaurs. It's just even amazing just to think that they actually roamed the earth it, so many millions of years ago. Incredible. I know. Chris, you got me my brain thinking about that chicken thing. And then, Daisy, <laughs> you said something earlier about alligators. What did you... I think alligators are also, you know, descendants think, yeah, of some kind of dinosaur, I no? Think there, was there a big alligator, I think, earlier? But all I know uh. is that paleontologist reminds <laughs> me of Ross from Friends. So I love that. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Danielle. And how about the heat? Is it going to be, uh, you know, extreme today again? <laughs> yes, it will. It will be sweltering across the valley this morning. But let's take a look across the nation. Looking at Chicago right now at 64 degrees, Houston 82 with those temps.